This is not the day after the snow because I'm at a right cock up. Schoolboy Harry, I was setting the camera up as I was coming down to the hide. And um, the sound system I use is a wireless Go. Now it has a, a receiver and a microphone and they look exactly the same. Well, daft lad here, put them on the wrong way around. So I had the receiver on my lapel. Anyway, long story short, I messed the vlog up, so all morning I was filming with no sound. So that's what happens when you set up in the dark. Anyway, not to worry. Um, so that morning I came down after the snow. It was all right, it was bloody hell, it was cold. Um, I got a few J shots, I'll put them on after this little uh, talky bit. And uh, the buzzers didn't come down, which I don't know, I didn't really fully expect them to. So we're back here today. Now, unfortunately, we've lost the snow. There's still a bit of ice and slush about, but um, when it was forecast last night as well, but it's not happened. So I've changed the setup a little bit, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the buzzards, there's two knocking about again. Now, I came down yesterday to fill the feeders up the last couple of times I've been down, the buzzards, I don't know, they've been hanging around in a different spot. There were three of them, I saw three of them the other day, all together. And, um, I don't know, it just seemed a bit weird really, so... When I walked back, when I walked back home, I went across the farmer's field, and in right in the middle of the field was a dead sheep, half eaten, so they've been filling their boots on that. That's why they've not been coming down. So I came back, got my spade, I had to dig it out of the ground because it was frozen solid. Uh, I don't know how they've been eating it really. So I've dragged it back up here and uh, it's kind of, it's still in the field, but it's bordering, you know, where this setup is. So hopefully it'll hold them around here a bit. So that's the reason why. So it's a bit of a tip for you that, you know, if you do put bait down for any birds and they're, you know, they're not coming down, they might be just, you know, feasting on someone else. So it's worth having a look around and, um, you know, checking the local area out. So yeah, we're just waiting now, waiting to see if them buzzards come down here. The few few jays have been down, so we've got some shots of them with the acorns and that, which is what we wanted. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. And it's cold again, proper cold. So I'll tell you what I have got, which is Ace. I'll show it after. It's a, a bivy bag from Outkit, um, it's called a Hunker XL and you'd be surprised how much warmer you are inside it's, it's not got a lot of thermal quality about it but I don't know it just seems to, to give you a bit of warmth and it uh, it seems to be working at the moment so if you're in a hide like this it might just be worth getting hold of one can hear that buzzard again oh, have a brew and uh, yeah, hope for a bit of action.
new vlogging setup again so you'll have to let me know what you think about it I'm, I'm using a Canon M50 which I'm hoping is going to be the last vlogging setup that I have to buy because at the moment I'm really pleased with it it's got a fantastic autofocus system and paired with the um, you know the decent mic system I'm hoping that this is going to be the setup that I'm going to stick with so we'll see let us know in the comments let us know what you think so this this that I'm filming now is on the M50 you hear that buzzard come on Wow, it's cold. Right, that's it. We're calling it a do. I've had enough today. I'm freezing. So, the problem is, we've got some good J footage, so I'm happy with that. And um, I said about, you know, having that other setup, then I, you know, having a plan B, which, you know, in normal circumstances, it'd, uh, it'd work, but the one factor that's put a right spanner in the works is that sheep carcass because I dragged it to the edge of that field hoping that it'd just keep them you know around here and they'd come down to what I put down but they haven't they're all on the sheep carcass three of them so what I'm going to do tomorrow well what I'm going to do now I'm going to pack up I'm going to get this hide and I'm going to put it under the edge up there and tomorrow I am coming down early doors 
and we're going to get some, well, I hope so, we're going to try and get some buzzard footage on that sheep carcass because I think it'll look cool because all the, all the rib cage is exposed, it just looks, I don't know, it looks good. So that's, uh, that's tomorrow's plan and uh, yeah, but it's proper cold. I'll tell you what I've had on. <laughs> You know, I sent that letter to Father Christmas asking for a 300 F2.8. Well, I think he got a bit confused and he sent me a pair of these instead. Neoprene toe warmers, right? So what you do, you slip them over your toes, put your socks on and they're supposed to keep your feet toasty. Well, the <laughs> don't ever buy any. <laughs> because what they do, they, they let the temperature drop to about minus 20 and then your toes turn blue and fall off. But the good thing is that once they've all fallen off, you can open this up and you can empty them out, empty your toes out and keep them in a jar as a memory. Yeah, so they're not the best. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I might, I might put them on dog's ears. Oh. But, um, yeah, anyone got any suggestions on how to keep your feet nice, toasty, warm? Please put them in the comments, will you? So, anyway, right, we're going to get this hide down, get it packed up and get it shifted. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get some buzzard shots. So, thanks for joining us. As always, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, if you've learnt anything. Stick, stick a comment in the uh, comment section, I'll get back to you. Uh, subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. And I will see you on the next one. See you later.